Oh. <clears throat> well, that was a great start. Okay, what's up, guys? It's Sarcastic Dragon here, and um, I've gotten a few requests the past few days um, to uh, make an EMB tutorial, which I realized I never did that. Um, so, uh, once again, I'm not going to try and keep your attention for the sake of whatever, so uh, if you know how to install EMBs, you can leave. But, um, uh, because it's the same as you would with Skyrim Special Edition or, uh, uh, Legendary Edition. Um, anyways, I was actually just about to switch out ENBs, so I decided, you know what, this is, this is a good time to do it. So, um, first thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want to go to, uh, this website, this page here, uh, link will be in the description, and you just wanna click this download thing here at the bottom, you're gonna get this, this little, this little sucker. And so, you basically, you're going to have this. So, then you're going to have wrapper version. Uh, you just want to drag it out of there. And then, you're going to want to go into... Uh, now, for you, it should probably be uh, program files x86 um, in local disk C and then Steam. Um, and then, well, hang on. But for me, it's in this drive. But uh, So, anyway, Steam. And then you'll see Steam apps common and you'll see all your games like one folder for each game and you want to go down to skyrim vr there it is okay so then you're gonna have probably not all this much stuff but <clears throat> anyways you're gonna want to open this up here uh, boop. and that's it okay the emb is installed now um so now uh but by itself it's not gonna do all that much so you're gonna want presets which is where the rest of this stuff in here. So previously, if you go back in my other videos, um, I was using Kaizal EMB, so that'll be in the description as well. This is what I was using uh, before this, but now I'm going to switch it out and use uh, Photorealistic Tamriel, which, um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. So, okay, and if you're going to do what I'm doing, then you and you're going to use Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel, you're going to want to be sure to disable the fake subsurface scattering from the options menu and then... Okay, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, here we are. So, copy this. And then we're going to go into our Skyrim folder here. Paste. And then there's going to be like, hey, there's already files and stuff here. I'm going to press OK, replace it. Okay, we're done. Okay, it worked. I already noticed an immediate difference. Um... I think something's wrong though, um, I'm not entirely sure what, I can only describe it as it feels like I'm kind of going cross. Oh my god, it is dark. I cannot see a fucking thing. Is it weird that I kind of like it? Because, I mean, realistically, I mean, look at this. Like, there's no moon out. This is what it would look like if you did... What the fuck's going on over there? You seeing the little red light? Anyways, I mean, this is what it would be like if you were outside at night and there was no moon. Oh, there's the moon. This does have a nice look to it. I don't know, the colors are kind of muted. It does look quite photorealistic. Anyways, there you go. That's um, that's a quick guide on, um, you know, uh, installing EMBs for Skyrim VR. Now, again, it's I don't have it perfect here, but um, I've been messing around with stuff. If you're just starting it from scratch, then you shouldn't have these issues with things mixing weirdly and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, so just make sure whatever EMB you decide to install, make sure you have the requirements uh, met, which will be in the um, description under the requirements section. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, anyways, have fun making Skyrim look pretty. I love these gauntlets.